Hey, what's up, everybody? Doby Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really fast but really professional looking text reveal. It's going to look a little something like this right here. As you can see, all it is is it just comes out of this sort of uh, arbitrary line, then it just slides into place. And I'm talking this will take you just a couple of seconds to throw together, and then you can sort of move it around and make it look good. So this is great for really anything that you want to do where you just need to add some text and you want it to come in in a sort of fun way. So let's get started. All we have to do is first off just create ourselves some text, go to the text tool, click anywhere you want, and then type whatever you want. I just went with uh, Ontario just because it was sort of a frozen landscape, and I thought, you know, maybe it, it looked like it fits here. And then once we have our text, uh, we can change its fill. So maybe at this time we want it to go, uh, maybe let's go with a white this time, like so. And then now what we want to do is we want to line this up, and then we want to go into our effects and look for an effect called crop. It's right here under video effects, transform down right here, crop, drag that onto our text right here, go to the very bottom of our effect controls once we have the text selected, and you'll see that we have crop down here. Now we want to bring this crop up to maybe about 17, 16%. This is all, of course, up to your own style. I like to go somewhere around here. That'll create a crop line right about here on the footage. Then if we go up to the position of the text, so this is the text right here. This is the position of the overall sort of the entire element, everything in it. We don't want that because that'll move the crop with it. We want to go to the text and we want to go right here to the position. Uh, this is the X, this is the Y, so this is the up and down. And you'll see that it drags it up and down. And now you'll see what we have is this line created perfectly for us. It just creates this mask that we can then bring the text up with. Let's center this a little bit right like so. Maybe a little more, yeah. And now what we want to do is we just want to animate this up so that it comes up and then it sort of rests in the center. If we click the toggle keyframe button right here, we can then bring it to where we want to start. So of course we want to start it where it isn't in view. So maybe right around here. And then we want to move forward maybe half a second. Move forward right about there and then bring it up right to center. And now we have the beginning of the effect going. It's looking pretty good, but we want it to have that sort of professional vibe to it. So this is really easy to do. We're gonna click on this, right click, go to temporal and prolation, and then just go into easy in. And what this is gonna do is it's going to change the speed up a little bit. And so now you see it sort of slides in just a little bit. It starts fast and then gets a little bit slower, but it isn't as extreme as I would like. So what we can do is we can actually go in here, sort of zoom this in by dragging this in, and then just take this bottom one and drag it backwards. And what this is gonna do is make it go really fast and then slow down. So now we have that smooth slide in right like so. And that's it, that's all you have to do for this effect. It's really, really simple. And you know, if I wasn't explaining it, I could get one of these done in about 30, 35 seconds. Great thing to have in your tool belt whenever you're creating like, you know, a blog or even just like documentary pieces and you just want to throw some text in and make it look professional. Really fast, really simple to do. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button to make a video every day on Adobe related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.